What's up guys? It's Daz here. <coughs> but you don't really care as this is Sonic Month, or at least Sonic Week as I'm calling it, since Sonic's Forces has just come out. And so alongside playing that for you, both live and probably in my own time, I also just kind of wanted to play Sonic the Hedgehog 2, just because I played the first one, haven't played the second or the third, and I figured I might as well continue the series since everyone's hopefully in a little bit of a Sonic mood. Plus also it means if Sonic Forces turns out to be really bad, then I can play Sonic 2 and then I get at least a little bit of good Sonic in my life. Now, I do believe Sonic uh, 2 is generally seems to be the fan favourite in at least the classic Sonic franchise. I, as I just said, have never actually played the game before. Therefore, it'll be a fun little experience for me. It's basically the same as when I did the original game way back then. Also, I think it's kind of new that we don't die immediately on spikes, which is pretty nice. Now, if for those that really don't know, but I imagine everyone does, the introductions we get with Sonic 2 are not only the introduction of Tails, who doesn't really do a ton too much, though he does allow us for two-player, which I'm not actually going to do this series because I don't have a two-player, and wow, that was a quick level. Seriously, over a minute? Or just, um, just over a minute? That's pretty good for me. I was just sort of rambling and boosting through. But yes, the other thing that comes along is the Spin Dash. A great way to really annoy your own earbuds, but, not earbuds, ear drums even. Let you boost ahead and makes you really feel fast and effective. Now I'm playing this on the PC, so I'm just going to quickly press that. That was a button that will allow me to quick save because just like all the other classic Sonic games, they're kind of hard and if you lose you have to play from the very beginning again, or at least that's what I assume is going to be the case. So I'm playing on the PC because I don't actually have a Sega Genesis or Mega Drive or anything like that, and I also kind of would like the extra help because I don't want to spend a million hours trying to perfect this game. I'd rather just play it once, and then if I want to play it more and, uh, you know, polish my skills, I'll do that in my own time after the series. But yes! <clears throat> At the time of recording this, it's actually a week before Sonic Forces comes out, I believe. Actually, I might have my uh, dates wrong, but I think I'm okay on that. Um, so, hopefully it'll be fun. I imagine it will be. I'm quite excited to see it, especially since it's obviously modern Sonic, which is much more what I'm uh, used to. Jesus Christ, I feel so good! Ooh, 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 I just saw something really important. Something else in these games. Damn it, you can't go back on yourselves. My, the checkpoint started sparkling, so I could have done something, but oh well. Alright, Eggman fight time. Again, getting to him just after a minute. I believe this is just the classic case of the original Sonic games where you just have to fight the guy and hit him eight times to pass through. I could totally hit him twice, why am I not? Must admit though, I prefer the theme from the original. It was a lot more like cool, I guess is the way I can say it, but oh well, I'm still happy anyway. Uh, if you do have a second player, it's really good that Tails can be used to help you fight this time. Actually, that felt like only five hits, but I was probably wrong. Can I move on now? Goodbye! Wow, that was really nice and easy. I approve. But yeah, I figured this would be a nice, quick and cute little series to go alongside Sonic Forces. And I really wanted to play the game. Alright, Chemical Plant Zone. This is the zone I have the most familiarity with because it's the fan favourite of the game and it shows up pretty much in every Sonic game after this. I mean, maybe not quite, but you know what I mean. I mean, I've, most of my experience comes from the Sonic Adventure games and Sonic Generations, and hey, Chemical Plant was very much from or in Sonic Generations. Let us go. That being said, I haven't actually experienced the whole underwater and poison thing properly myself on the classic game, obviously, because I haven't played it before, but we'll see how it goes anyway. Now, I must admit, as much as this is a fun, cute little series, I've had a hell of a pain getting to this point. This seems to be a running theme with each of my series, that so there's always some crippling mistake, but this time, I was... It's, I mean, to be fair, it's not been too bad. I apparently can't go through the poison for this life of me. Right, there we go, thank you. But... I've been spending only an hour, but to be fair, it's still an hour of just troubleshooting. Oh my god, oh no! Right, I will get up there. Higher path is always the better path. So give me... Where's my speed boost? Is it gone? Okay, hold on. Alright, I'm getting nowhere near as fast as I was before. Oh, is this what I'm after? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No! It's, I'm supposed to be going that way? Are you sh sure? Can I not? 
There we go. I'd rather go this way. This way feels righter. I can't jump. There we go. I should be on the right path now, yeah. But no, it's taken me like an hour of setup to get this going, because for whatever reason, I always have a giant problem when I play a series, and it's different every time. I don't know why it is. Like, <clears throat> um, earlier in the month, I mean, to me it was yesterday, so still, I was trying to record some Super Mario Odyssey since that game just came out, and for whatever reason, my recording device was like, no, you're not recording any game audio, and we're not going to tell you that you're not either, it's just going to go as normal, you can play for an hour, and only afterwards will you realise the whole footage is pretty unsalvageable. This time, for whatever reason, my mic died. Don't know why, I ended up just having to like, re-plug everything in and reinstall drivers and eventually something worked, but I don't know what it is, but everything is broken. And it changes every time. It's like a roulette. It's like I'm playing a gambling game, which is very fitting because Sonic is very into its casinos and that kind of theming. But yeah, I don't know, man. I've had a lot of trouble. This one's not been too bad. I'd probably say this is the smoothest one so far, but this is where I'm going to find out all the audio is missing or my mic has died. I don't know. And I actually have like, or I did have a four minute recording of me reacting to the fact that I couldn't get anything working. Oh yeah, the other thing actually, I was having a second issue. The game wasn't starting. Like I'm playing this on, this is the Steam version of the uh, game. It's a, it's a classic bundle that I'm playing, same as I did with the original Sonic series. But um, for whatever reason, the whole thing just was like, I'm not gonna turn on for you. So I was just screwed. I should have moved and then I would have had a higher path. Oh, I'm an idiot. As I said, this is my first time playing the game, I don't know the level, so these things are going to happen. That was a miracle. I'm pretty sure I've seen other people die from that before. Oh, or at least maybe, or maybe in generations? I don't know. I just feel like I've seen people get crushed with that kind of moment before, so I'm glad I didn't. But yeah, no, the game just wouldn't start, and I had no idea why. I ended up having to restart my computer. So I don't know, I've had, I've had two issues already. Uh, if there is issues with this footage, I'm most likely actually just going to record this episode since it's only one episode anyway, so I should be fine. But otherwise, please bear with me. I swear I'm fixing it, or I'm going to work on it. This is a short series anyway, so I imagine it shouldn't be too difficult for me to redo. The only thing that'll get lost on that is how good I am at the game and the blindness of it. But to be fair, despite it being blind, I'm doing pretty well. This game is actually... I get why people have the hype of this. It feels... Fast and satisfying. Like, look at this. I mean, sure, people will complain that, hey, you're not really doing anything, you're just holding right. But even still, it's like, I'm entertained. I feel like I'm doing things right. This is a lot more rewarding than the first game. The first game had the issue where it was very much, you, you had to be slow to be fast. And like, it had a lot of, um, like this game has added a lot more mobility that we might like quite a lot. Oh, can I beat the water? I've never seen, nah, not, not fully. Yes. <gasps> Oh my god, I don't have to face the water. Oh my god, I love it. I do not know the level design. All right, let's face the water. The death water that everybody hates and has to face. Come on. Oh. Come on, give me the drowning music. It's coming any minute now. You know it's coming. Here it is. Five. All right, I'm fine. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> What way am I supposed to go? Is there a way to make tails fly for you? Maybe not. Oh, am I just supposed to go along the water? Is that it? Gosh, that's a really ooh, harsh platforming choice. But yeah, actually, do. Sonic, the original Sonic, seems a lot more platform heavy. Or it was just, it was just very <laughs> slow. I'm, I do not like this level design anymore. It's too punishing. I'm dead. I am as good as dead, because I can't even spin jump, and you can't do it when you're on a hill. I just want to spin dash. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm as good as dead. I'm as good as dead. This ain't, this ain't fixing itself. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. I'm sorry, Sonic. Really, that's a really punishing path. Like you have to fly miles above that water, man. Okay, whatever. Right, you can get out of here. I'm going. Oh. I messed up again because I was too busy thinking about rings. Oh well. But no, yeah, this game is actually really good for like rewards and punishments. God damn it. No, no. Already? 
Good lord, this is a punishing game, huh? Where are you taking me back? Oh, I have a continue? I have ten continues! This is different! Did the first game have that? I don't remember it. I remember the first game being way more harsh. Okay, I might actually be able to play this without taking quick saves. Yeah, I'm playing this, as I said, on the PC Steam version, yes! And so I've got quick saves, that's my way of getting through, that's my way of, you know, working out on it. So if I've got 30 lives to get through the whole thing, though, could be doable. Oh, you're just a, you're just a shield, I see. We'll see! I'll be excited to see how that turns out. Man, I'm already liking this game more than the first. Like, I enjoyed the first, I must admit. But I can see the qualm, like, the qualm people had, and in comparison, this game is flourishing! Now, I was originally going to play this earlier in the year, just in general, because I kind of wanted to... It was the way I wanted to pace it out with the first series. Am I going backwards on myself now? I can't tell. Um, but I ended up not doing that, because Sonic Mania was a thing, and I felt like everyone was already sort of done with the Genesis era. And to be fair, I'm only coming out now. You, I could argue that it's, like, still a little too early, considering Sonic Mania only came out a couple months ago. But I'm I'm justifying it by saying it's it's Sonic's it's Sonic Forces time. So everyone's a bit more Sonicy, and so I'm going to be playing a 2D Sonic and a 3D Sonic at the same time. And also, in my mind, would quite like to do Sonic Adventure 2 at the same time as this and the other two. But damn it! All the way to the beginning again. We'll see how that goes. I would like to play the game. Not sure if other people would like to see me play the game. Don't know if I'm going to be able to have the time. We'll see how things go. If I mean, if I get the whole game done in this recording, I could do it more recording next week, which is when Sonic Forces will actually be playing, so we'll see. Well, tell me what you think as well. Do you want to see Sonic Adventure 2? Because people did not want to see Sonic Adventure 1, from judging by views. Sorry to talk about it again, but hey, it's a fact of life. I'm learning on what series work and which ones don't. It's all trial and error, YouTubing. I don't know. Anyway, I'm ruining my own time to get back. Come on. Actually, in fact, I'm gonna skip forward ahead. You don't need to hear me rambling a little anymore. So, um, see you in a bit when we get, hopefully, to the later parts of this. Oh, well. All right, we're above the we're above the water now, so that's a start. Huh. I don't even want to jump. Do yeah, okay, I do want to jump because it's freaking pinpoint accuracy. Ah, oh, jumping on these ledges are also not fun. Okay, attempt number two. Even though it's like attempt number six. Fear. Just fear. Okay, so I don't even want to go too fast, because that's just enough. Oh, I see they flipped. All right, and we're good. All right, um, I th I'm pretty sure that checkpoint was glowing, but hey, I probably don't need that Chaos Emerald too badly. Oh, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. How did I know? How far back does it take? Okay, we did just get that checkpoint. Thank God. I don't... I don't want to go too fast. This is a common problem you do hear about Sonic games is it wants you to go fast, but it punishes you for going fast. Like there! Although, actually, no, we're fine. We're kind of fine. All right, we got out. <laughs> Not comfortable. And now we got spinny doos. And I don't actually remember this boss. I've never seen him properly. Dropped poison. Okay, but his drop it's are fine. I also can't tell when a platform is flipping. So, well, it doesn't matter. He's, he's gone anyway. Sweet! Can I, uh, I'm gonna just leave a quick little quick save. Hopefully that actually had an impact. But I don't know. Alright! Wow! This game is quick. It's fun. I like it a lot. And I can understand how other people do too. I could very much see myself trying to perfect the game. Like many people already do. Right, now Aquatic Ruin, we're gonna do it another time. I do apologize, but hey, we gotta cut these up into episodes somewhere, so hope you enjoyed. I'm at least, at least play the music out, because I don't think these are actually copyrighted. We're going way back to the early 90s, or mid 90s at this point? 93 maybe? Um, I just know the original was 91. So, whatever. Hopefully you'll stick for the next time, and hopefully I won't get a copyright strike for this, and I'll actually get paid for a video. Yay, YouTube is killing me. Anyway, for now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.